In this video, we're gonna share seven myths about the Blue Healer. The Blue Healer is a medium-sized dog that is fast, loyal, loving, friendly, and very smart. This dog is very popular because of how smart, protective, and loyal they are. But in this video, we're gonna clear up seven myths that you may or may not have heard about when it comes to a Blue Healer. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. If you love dogs, you'll probably want to subscribe. Okay, let's get started in the countdown. We'll start with the first one. The first myth is that Blue Healers are bad with families. This couldn't be further from the truth. Blue Healers are loving, loyal, and super protective and make for a great family dog. And while Blue Healers are not right for everyone because they do need space and exercise requirements, if you can give them that, they're an excellent family dog. You socialize them early, they'll be great with your friends, your family, your kids, and other animals if you have them. A blue healer will be a big part of your life and a big part of your family. So this dog is definitely great if you have a family. At number two is the myth that these dogs are not as smart as other dogs. When you think of a very smart dog, you think of a border collie or an Australian shepherd or maybe a German shepherd. But don't be fooled, the blue healer is right there with them. This dog is incredibly smart. Anyone that's ever owned a blue healer will tell you it's the smartest dog they've ever owned. So they're right up there in the top five with the smartest dogs that you can find. And they love to have a job, love to be working, and love to keep their mind active. So if you decide to get a blue healer, just know that they're very smart and can get into trouble, but they're also easily trained because of how smart they are. The number three myth is that they don't shed much, when in fact, these guys shed a ton. They don't look like they shed much because they don't have a very long coat, but what they do have is a dense double coat that is bred for them to be outside, moving, doing a job, hurting the cattle, so they shed and they shed a ton. Most people don't realize it, again, because they don't have a very long coat and they're not a very big dog. But be aware, if you get a blue healer, they shed and shed a ton. The number four myth is that they are born red or blue. A blue healer is an Australian cattle dog that can either be a blue healer or a red healer. But the truth is, these dogs are born white. It's not for a few weeks after they're born will you know if you have a blue or red healer. We did a video on the differences between a blue and red healer, and really, there aren't any because they're the same dog, just different colors. Typically, your dog will be a blue healer, but sometimes you can get lucky with a red healer. But in any case, when you take your puppy home, you may or may not know what color they're going to be. The next myth is that the blue healer bites a lot. Now the blue healer is mouthy and does like to nip if not corrected. This comes from their herding background. But like we said earlier, blue healers are very intelligent and with some training will be able to stop biting almost immediately when you get them home as a puppy. So yes, they have a tendency and a willingness to bite, but it's not something that can't be corrected very quickly, again, thanks to the blue healer's intelligence. So you won't have a problem and these dogs will be safe around other dogs and other humans. The number six myth is that blue healers are overprotective. While blue healers are definitely protective of their families, which makes them a great family dog, they're not overprotective or scared or aggressive towards other people. There's a big difference between a dog that knows the situation, is alert, brave, and will be protective of the family versus an out of control dog that's aggressive and mean to other dogs. The blue healer is very smart and very alert, knows its surroundings and knows how to protect you correctly. So this dog is protective, but it's not something that's out of control and it's definitely a plus rather than a negative if you decide to own a blue healer. The 
The number seven myth is that anyone can own a blue healer. This is simply not true. In order to own a blue healer, you need to have the energy, time, and the attitude to train this amazing dog. This dog needs the time, exercise, and space to run and do a lot of different jobs. They also need to be stimulated both physically and mentally. And if you do that, you will have a loving, loyal, protective dog for a long time to come. But if you don't have the space or live in a small apartment, a blue healer probably isn't right for you. But if you can give this dog space to run and enjoy life, the blue healer will be one of the best dogs you ever owned. We thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.